Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Ship Graveyard Simulator. I am quite worried about starting this because last time we left a massive, massive pile of resources. We completely scrapped one of the biggest ships in the game and just left them by the shop. Will they be there when we click play and load the level? Place your bets, ladies and gents. Place your bets. Oh, I'm actually going to be really annoyed. I, I feel like it's not going to be there. Please. If it takes ages to load... That's probably a good sign, actually. Oh, I hear glitchy noises. Yes! Yes! Ah, oh, I feel like I feel like we need a celebratory dive onto it. All right, ready? 360. My back. All right, cool. So yeah, that was that was the ship we scrapped. Uh, pretty cool, I reckon. We should probably spend the day upgrading everything, and then perhaps we'll even buy the explosives powered by a nokia 3310 uh, very very exciting right so can we upgrade this anymore so shop upgrade it's fully upgraded excellent next the workshop can we upgrade the workshop yes we can so we need six grand six titanium alloy eight lead alloy and ten hardened steel so we've currently got two titanium alloy and two lead alloy so we just need a few more of those so titanium alloy Oh, whoa, I can actually make my own titanium now. I'm pretty sure these bottom three are all new. That's cool. So what do we need? Just titanium and aluminium. All right. So we've got some aluminium up the top. We just need titanium, which I think there's some in here. Yep, titanium. We only need four of that. So titanium and aluminium, if we put that at 1500 at win level three. So we change that to 1500. This to win level three. And then when we pull the lever, out should poop some titanium alloy. There it is. So pick those four up. And then we just needed six lead alloy. So there's six lead in there. There is seven copper, so we have one copper left over. That's fine. Uh, but to make the lead alloy, it's 500 and win level three. So that's a 500. That's already on win level three. So pull the lever and out poops the lead alloy. There it is. All right, so next we just need six grand. So shall I start selling some stuff? You need something to sell. Now, this could be anything. Thingamajig or a, a hoozy whatsy. Maybe just sell it all. How much is that? Three grand? Yes, yeah, six grand we got now. Right. So I'll grab the stuff which I hid in my trunk and come to the workshop. Yes, it's all green. So we can buy that. Ready? It's going to look good. Oh, I hope it doesn't fling like all the resources if it gets bigger. Did that get bigger? Sort of looks the same to me. Cool. This is upgraded. So, oh, look, look. We've got cooling now. Ooh, funky. Right, so we've got some new... Yes, look. Let's make these bottom three that we've just unlocked. There's a cooling that we need to turn on. Yeah, so basically you can turn chemicals, which are only worth 104, and a bit of cast iron, which is worth 16. So that would be 120. If you combine them, it's worth 136. So a little bit more money. Not entirely sure what's worth doing when you have a pile like that, but... We will see. Right, next, we need to upgrade this thing, the barrack. So for this, we need nine grand. We also need acid-resistant steel, titanium alloy, and chemicals. Oh, dear. Okay. I feel like we need a lot of chemicals, then, which we do sort of have. We actually have quite a lot of titanium, actually. So let's just check the acid-resistant steel. We need ten of that. I'm not sure how to make that. Acid-resistant steel is stainless steel and chromium. So stainless steel, we only need 10, that's fine. Chromium, we've only got 5. We need more chromium. Is there any in this trunk? No, oh, I think we just, I literally think we just sold it. There could be some in here, but <laughs> quite hard to see the gold stuff. All right, well, let's start making stuff. So steel, chromium, so 1500, wind 1, that to 1. How do I know if that's 1 or not? Does it just mean vertical? Vertical white line, not horizontal white line? I'm going to assume that. I'm a little bit scared. And then that's 1,500. Let's hope I don't waste these. I don't actually know what happens if you do a recipe that isn't a recipe. Oh, thank goodness. Acid-resistant steel. Yes. All right, so next is just titanium alloy, which we've just made. So we just need some aluminium. Right. Aluminium, what do you look like? Oh, really? You look just like copper. Oh, God. Yeah, it looks like copper, but it's it's got a blue surround, not a silver surround. All right, so we got those two. We literally just need two more titanium. And then we've got the chemicals. And I think we can make titanium out of chemicals. Is that right? Titanium, yes. Chemicals and cast iron. So if we grab two cast iron. So cast iron is like a cube, like that one. Cast iron. Two of those. We can plonk those in. 
And then that on, wind level three and a thousand. Right, okay, let's pull the lever. Ready? Yes, two titaniums. So I've got 10 titanium, 10 chemicals. We just need 10 acid resistant steels. So that's stainless steel and chromium. So we've got the stainless steel ready. We just need five chromium. Now there could very well be some in this pile. I'm going to assume there probably isn't though. Right, so once we have five chromium, we can make five acid resistant steels and that's everything we need, just a bit of money on the side. Shall I go back on the ship? There could be some in there or shall I just sort through this? Let's do a bit of... There you go, we've spread it out a bit. Oh god, it's a right mess. Let's sell that, get some money. Right, chromium, just want the golds. Oh no, it seems like titanium and stainless steel. Oh, we're going to have to go, we're going to have to order a ship. Are we actually going to be selling and making anything else? I think once that's upgraded that's everything right so perhaps it's time to sell all of this <laughs> although think how many explosives we could buy yep sod it i'm doing it nom come to me i feel like i'm, I'm like a snowman come on then <laughs> go on i think we're going the right direction i can't really see oh yes hello shopkeep hello yes can i sell some of this please i reckon we're going to be like 50 grand i don't really know it's going to be a lot Oh, look, we're actually making a dent now. Every time it sort of disappears. Oh, look, we're in a donut. You're wearing sandals. It must have hurt having all those raw resources just bouncing off your toes. But yeah, the thing is, if I don't if I don't sell all of these, should I fall asleep in my bed, they'll all be gone the next day. So although it's a little bit sad, it's, it's got to be done, I think. Right, so that's pretty much the last bit. There's a few, like, wedged down the back that I can't really get to. A uh, little bit annoying, but look, look how much money we have. 50 grand, almost. Round up, I'm an engineer. So, let's go order our boat for tomorrow. So, we'll go onto our computer. Of course, we've got 50 grand, so we've got one of the best computers money can buy. Uh, we're going to dismiss the large ship. She served us well. Uh, and then we've got all of these different ones to pick from. Oh, wow, there's actually loads of ships here. Fair play. I really want this large ship. Let's check the details. Does it have... Chromium average. Yes, I think this could be the one then. It looks like a bloody oil tanker. The Justinian of South Korea? Is that? Don't know, but we'll book that. And then our ship will arrive tomorrow. We just need five chromium. And then we can go mental with explosives. So yeah, I think we'll fall asleep. And then when we wake up, the ship is going to be coming. Your what? Your boat booking time has expired. You can rent another ship in... What? What? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, there it is. Why didn't I get to watch it come in? That's my favorite part of the video. <laughs> Still, that's quite a big ship, isn't it? That's, that's quite a lot of ship, actually. I've just realized. <laughs> All right, we'll go get on board. Whoa, look at this. Oh, man, there's loads of stuff. I think these are chromium pipes. Yes, look, four in the first one. Right. Oh, look how shiny it is. It's all chromey. All right, so there's four. We only need five. So we'll slice this off, which doesn't look like it's attached, but ignore that. Oh, and it's lucky loot. So we got double. Nice. All right, now I'm just going to set up a zip line so I don't have to climb up again. So zip line from there. Where's the shop? Over that way. Okay. <laughs> I would not recommend jumping from a ship like that in real life. But yeah, all while this stays green, we're pretty good. We got the distance, I think. So around here somewhere. There, that would do. So now we can just zip line back up. Right. So let's grab all the stuff we need. Chemicals. So we got five chromium. What was it? Five stainless steel. So when we merge them together, we'll get the acid resistant steel. So we'll do that quickly. So stainless steel and chromium. 1500. Wind level one. That thing. Yes. 1500. Wind level one. That thing. Yes. And here we go. The final time we'll probably pull that lever. Oh yeah, baby. Come here. Come here. And now we come over to the barrack. Go to upgrade. We can buy everything. Look, it's all green. We got more space for workers once this is unlocked. So ready? There's our old barrack. What's it going to change into? Oh, three story. Nice. We can hire three more employees. So I might do that. We'll hire you. What's your name, mate? Bob. <laughs> <laughs> right, Bob, you're hired. Right, I'm looking for two more workers. Any, Anyone? Anyone want a job? What about you? You look like you could use a job. I'll hire you, Tom. Right, anyone else need a job? Aha, what about you, my friend? Andrew, you're hired, sir. Right, so I think we've fully upgraded everything now. Let's just check. Yep, they're all unlocked. Love it. All right, so we'll grab everything they got me in the evening. We'll sell that to this dude. Four grand. Thank you all. 
So now we can go to the tool shop and we can buy the final tool, the explosives. Emergency mode, SOS and on. Cool, okay. Well, we're gonna buy that. No required tool to destroy this big piece of metal. Another annoying lock to open, no problem. Use explosives to blow everything up. So we can only hold two? What? That's a bit shit. Okay, that's a little bit disappointing. I got 40 grand. They only cost 200 quid each. All right, let's get back on this ship. Using our trusty zipline. All right, we are up. Look how much stuff there is. I want, so if I do explosive stuff, let's plonk that there. So the explosive is still there, <laughs> just stuck in the air. I'm going to vacuum it. <laughs> Don't want it to be dusty. So if I go back to explosive, I can't plonk another one. Oh, that's annoying. It says I'm in range of explosion. Oh, oh, bollocks. <laughs> you passed out. He's just resting. And please, sis, that man is dead. Oops. <laughs> All right, well, let's buy another explosive. You can't place an explosive on this object. Ah, oh, well, we're not going to lie. Pris prissy pleased. I, I can't do that. Uh, ooh, what about? I can put it, I can put it there. Right, car. See you later. Oh. <laughs> right, anyway then. Back on the zip line. Back onto the ship. I guess we can see what our explosive actually did. Did it leave the resources behind? Oh, it did. Ooh, that's quite cool. Uh, but first, I want to get... Oh my god, look how much stuff there is on here. <laughs> this is awesome. There's so much stuff on this ship. I could literally become a millionaire, probably, if I had the patience. Let's get up to the bridge. And see if there's any, like, master safes we can unlock. And yes, when I say unlock, I fully mean... Right, out of the way, table. <laughs> right, we're in the bridge. Oh, man, it's so much... It's so much ship. Look at it. Ooh, what are these? Alarm box. They've got so much equipment in. We haven't actually used the, uh, the blue torch yet. Oh, look at this. It's like a handy little portable one. Is it quick, though? That is the question. Oh, it does seem a bit quicker. It's still quite slow, if I'm honest. Get out of the way, shelf. <laughs> oh, man. I need I need one of those hammers in real life. Burn through this. Nice. I missed a blob. That's annoying. There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, the gold. Well, it's not, it's not actually gold. It's just gold-colored objects. All right. Just cut this last little bit off. Golden eye style. Nice. Oh, no golden loot. That's a shame. Uh, oh, look, two safes. Right, that calls for some explosives. Yes, hello, is the safe there? Oh. <laughs> oh, what? That's all there was? Shut up. I can't be right. They must have got blown out the window or something. Are there more safes around this side? Yes, there are. Right. Hello. Nice. Yeah, there's, there's not a lot of gold and silver in them. Right, perhaps we should do some boosting. Just try and get this gold stuff like the exhaust oh look at that chunk you can see through it you can out the sun <laughs> it's so brittle i love it but yeah maybe i will go around and just one last little boosh montage without me saying boosh i know i know i could say boosh every time i'm i was waiting for someone to make a mod like the timberborn boosh mod but it never happened so you're just gonna have to do with the in-game sounds, I guess. But I, I, I find it quite satisfying still. So hopefully someone else will. Alright, so we've worked most of the way through the night. I haven't actually used this hoover yet. So uh, let's give this... <laughs> Look how green it is. We'll give this a bit of a clean up. Takes quite a while. Oh man, takes takes ages actually. But at least it turns into some gold stuff. So lump. We'll do a few more little cuts on our way out. You can see the destruction progress. I think that's from a new update. So it shows you how much of the ship you've actually destroyed. Uh, would have loved to have seen what we did on the last ship. I'm pretty sure we got 100%. Uh, this one, I'm only focusing on the goldy yellow things. Ooh, lucky loot. Because uh, basically, I just want to get a load of dosh. 
and just see what this big ship is worth because it is the most expensive one. So trying to work out, is it worthwhile? I'd say if you like chromium, probably is worthwhile. We'll give this a little blue torch and then I think we're pretty much done. That tiny little bit, mother. <laughs> All right, loads of stuff in there. Nice. All right, there are a load of chromium things here. I just, I don't think I can be asked to cut them off. <laughs> oh no, I fell. Oh, I fell. I fell into the like rusty steel wreck beneath. Yeah, you can see we were making a pretty decent pile of goldy, silvery stuff. Let's sell it all. So 10 grand from that. So we've now got 80 grand to our name. We are legend of the ship graveyard. <laughs> You know what? I th I think we've completed the game. I think good spots call it quits. Although actually we've got half an hour. I'm just going to check. I'm just going to check. There isn't a better boat. No, nah, pretty sure we got the largest boat. Oh, I'm an idiot actually. Before we sold that, we should have gone into skills. Because look, we're level 53. We got 26 skill points. <laughs> oh, idiot, Matt. Oh, and we could have unlocked the explosive amount. Oh, Matt. <laughs> to be fair, it's only four more. But like you can't stack them. You can only do them one at a time. So is it really that good? Don't know. But yeah, that was Ship Graveyard Simulator. Hope you enjoyed the series, guys. I found it surprisingly addictive. And I've heard there's a big update coming as well. So maybe we'll revisit. But who knows? For now, all I will say is peace, love, and legendary indestructible phones. Catch you guys next time. Bye.